What's up guys? Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today we are going to be addressing how to adjust your track bar for better steering and handling. It's a super simple video, but uh, let's jump right in. So before we actually dive into all of the work that it takes to adjust this, which is not that much, this is going to be a, a pretty quick video, uh, I do just want to address a few things. First off, we did a ton of work on the pit bull recently, and so that kind of threw off the alignment and stuff. Uh, what the track bar does is supposed to center your frame and your axle so that you avoid things like bump steer and other typical steering problems. So because we just did all of that work, we're kind of getting some of that, so I'm going to jump down kind of show you guys what to look for when you're addressing changing your track bar and stuff like that and hopefully it'll give you guys some insight on some of your own problems or even on dialing what you already have set up. Now after we do all of the work and get my rig dialed in we do have a little treat for you guys. Chief Wild Horse is going to come down and give some more sickle tech tips on some of the stuff going on with your steering stuff so you're definitely going to want to stick around for that but that is enough talk. Let's, uh, let's get to dialing in my track bar. Okay, so the tools you're gonna need for this install is a tape measure, a ratchet strap, a couple wrenches, and a hammer. It's always a good idea to have a hammer. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna kinda show you guys how to dial in if you actually have a problem. You wanna know if you're actually off on your track bar adjustment as is. So what you can do is you can grab a two by four, and you just set it up against the wheel and then you find a fixed spot on either the body or some people will do into the frame that's exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to assume that these flares are exactly the same width on both sides and I'm going to measure from there. So if we go from there, you can see that that's about two and five eighths of an inch. So now we're going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. And as you guys can see, that's about three and a half. So we're pretty, we're not too far off. It's not crazy, but it's way more than we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the track bar off. We're going to adjust it. And I do have an adjustable track bar. I'm running the Wild Horses adjustable track bar. If you have a stock track bar, there's really nothing that you can do except for buy a new track bar. But just do this quick test, see how far you're off. Again, you can uh, run it into the, somewhere on the frame but then you, you know, you're going way in there and it just gets complicated. So I'm gonna do that, I know I'm off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, well, let me just show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so first thing to address is my track bar setup is a lot different from uh, most of your guys. It's kinda, it's really custom. So um, your whole process might be a tiny bit different than what I'm doing. But again, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing so you can kind of get a, a feel for how this whole process goes. I'm gonna take the bottom part of the track bar off right now. Okay, so after you've taken the track bar off uh, and you've figured out which way you need to move the frame, in my case, I need to move it over this way because that space was way bigger on this side, uh, this is where the ratchet strap comes in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it around the frame and then the plan is just to pull the body and the frame this way till we get the, the, uh, the same measurement on both sides. Just makes it a whole lot easier. I think, I've only done this once. But it worked back then. Okay, so once you've got your ratchet strap attached, all you wanna do is you just wanna ratchet so you're pulling the body and the frame this way, then you're gonna get that same piece of plywood and the tape measure, and you do your same measurement. Okay, so that side's three and a quarter. Now we wanna go to the other side. And on this side, we get two and three quarters. So, with that in mind, we still gotta pull the body and frame a little bit more that way, so we're gonna do a little bit more ratchet strapping. And we're gonna try again. But we don't have to go much, because it's like half an inch off. So we've only gotta yank this thing just a little bit. That's probably too much. <laughs> well, we'll see. Either too much or I nailed it. That's my call, that's my guess. 
So we could safely say around three, a little bit more. Let's pop to the other side. Ah, oh, a little bit less than three. So we're gonna give it one more little yank. Just do it till you guys get the same measurement. <laughs> okay, right at three and right at three basically. We're gonna call that good enough. So now what we need to do is adjust the track bar um, so that it actually uh, keeps that center so we can take the ratchet strap off. So let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so as you guys can see, my track bar hole is way too far this way. You're not even gonna be able to get it on the stud. Again, this is all custom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this thing, pull the track bar that way till I can slip this thing on. We got a couple more turns and uh, that should be it. Yep, see, that'll go on nice and easy. Now all I have to do is throw the hardware back on, tighten everything back up and call it a day. And I'm actually gonna put blue Loctite on that thing. All right, so once you've tightened everything down there, we'll do a couple more, ch couple more checks. So this is with the ratchet strap still on. We're still at three, so I'm gonna assume it's the same over there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that strap off, let all of the tension fall onto the track bar, and see how we make out. All right. Cue epic music. So like three and an eighth, let's go measure over there. Let's, uh, let's see what's up. So that's like two and seven eighths. So do I want to get picky? I'm going to call it good. If you guys want to get that last little eighth of an inch and get it like three and three inches exactly or, or whatever yours would be, uh, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to call mine good. We're going to see how it travels. If it's still all weird, then, um, you know, we'll dial it in. But uh, it's just kind of preference, what you can handle. So a lot of people recommend that you don't want anything more than like a 16th of an inch, but uh, of difference. But we're gonna, we're gonna call it good. But anyways, that's pretty much uh, all of the work that you guys have to do. It's a couple bolts, couple measurements. It's super easy, like I said in the beginning. But uh, now we're gonna hop into the more tech side of it and uh, just kind of give you guys a few more tech tips on what else you need to check and some other things you need to take into consideration when doing different stuff like this. We're gonna call in the big guns. All right, now that you've adjusted your track bar, centering the front end under your Bronco, you may find that your steering has changed. You might be able to turn one way farther than the other. The way that you're gonna deal with that, if you have a fully indexed pitman arm, like a Wild Horses Drop pitman arm, is you can remove that pitman arm, center up the steering box itself by turning and counting your turns right to left and finding center, and then bolting the pitman arm back on. If you have a stock pitman arm with keyways in it, you really don't have that adjustability. If you have an adjustable drag link, you can manipulate the situation by adjusting the drag link. And if you don't, the old school fix that we used to do back in the day was we would file the keyways out of the stock pitman arm, allowing us to rotate it 360 degrees, bolt it in where we want so we could get perfect turning right to left. The last thing you want to do is recenter your steering wheel simply by removing the wheel and putting it back on in the center location. Those are just a few more tips for you. If you have any other questions, give us a call. All right, guys, so that was your Tech Tuesday for today. Again, super simple, super easy tech, but some of you guys that are just getting into this mechanic stuff, like myself, a video like this is good to have. Some of you guys that have been in this forever, you may have like no use for this at all, but again, we wanna kinda reach some of the basic stuff. We wanna go to more of the advanced stuff. So that's why we're tag teaming myself and my dad who has like 30 years of experience in all of this. That's how long he's been doing Broncos. I've been doing it for like two, three years. So I know like nothing, but I know enough to show you guys some of this stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If not, I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. 
Um, if not, that's okay. But if you did, make sure if you're not subscribed already, to go ahead and click the subscribe button, click the like button, comment down below what you want to see in future videos, and we hope to see you in the next one. So uh, anyways, guys, with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace.